people are deserving of this award. I am truly honored to have been chosen to receive the Louis People's White Award for Outstanding Community Service, presented by the Valdosta Civic Roundtable. I can remember Valdosta before 75, before shopping centers and before the malls, when U.S. Highway was the main artery going from Chicago to Miami, ran through the middle of downtown Valdosta. I can remember hungry travelers that would come in my father's store on Ashley Street needing something to eat. My father would write a note, give it to the traveler, send him to a local restaurant for them to feed them, and my father would pay the bill. I also volunteer my time for selfish reasons. By volunteering, I get much more in return than I give. The time I spend helping others is not what I consider work. I'm grateful that I'm allowed to give my time back to our community. When I was in the music business, I was typically working six days a week and really could only give financially. Now that I've sold my business, I can give something more than just money. I can give my time. This is one story that I remember that really fueled my fire to help someone in need. I was serving food in the soup kitchen one day during the holiday season, and I saw a lady with two young children. And after speaking with her for a little while, I, I learned that she was living at Lamps homeless shelter, and I knew there was going to be very little Christmas for her two children. I went to see my friend Bucky Anderson at the Western Auto to purchase some bicycles for these two young children, and that's when the fight started. <laughs> Bucky wanted to give me the bicycle for the children, and I wanted to pay for them. <laughs> I had to insist he take the money. My deepest thanks are those who give generously to whatever soapbox I'm standing on. Today some of my favorite soapboxes are Lamps Associated Ministry of People known as Lamp, Valdez Technical College, our community soup kitchen, and Temple Israel. I'm honored to be awarded that is award that is named after a friend of mine, Louis Peoples White, because I know how dedicated she was to serving our community. I know that you may not know Louis Peoples White, but you really do, because whenever you would see this lady, she was wearing a hat, and 90% of the time, it was red. That's the picture in our old guy. And I want to thank Sharon for not making me...